The failure to reach a deal at the U.S.-North Korean summit may have had serious consequences for aides to Kim Jong-un. Tonight, the U.S. is very interested in learning the fate of a top North Korean official and others. Ramey Innocencio is looking into this. According to a South Korean newspaper, North Korea's special envoy to the U.S., Kim Hyok-chol, has been executed along with four other officials from the foreign ministry after the Hanoi summit between President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un ended in failure in February. The paper, Chosun Ilbo, reports Kim was labeled a U.S. imperialist spy and executed at the end of March. It also reports Kim Yong-chol, the country's top nuclear negotiator, was sentenced to hard labor and re-education. South Korean officials could not confirm the report, and CBS News has not verified its accuracy. If true, it would be the most significant purge in North Korea since Kim Jong-un had his uncle killed in 2013. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in Berlin Friday was asked about the report. We've seen the reporting to which you're referring. We're doing our best to uh, check it out. But executing an official who's fallen out of favor wouldn't be uncharacteristic of the North Korean dictator. Kim Jong-un is not a leader that the president of the United States should be friends with. And these are not behaviors that can simply be overlooked and brushed aside. It's important to note South Korean media, as well as the government, have often been wrong on North Korea. Officials reported as executed have later appeared on national television. Very much alive. Margaret? Ramey, thank you.